Hey guys, Topher here, and welcome back to some more AI The Somnium Files. Um, where we last left off, we just witnessed Iris get killed. So that sucks. We also think that we're the... I still think that we're the old Cyclops killer. Um, it's not provable because no one wants to tell me shit about it, but you know, questionably so. Um, but what's important is that Oda is now dead too, and Iris is gone, and now we're going to investigate leads to see where it can take us. I assume, to be fair, if my Somnium Dream is playing a major part, I should go to the Sagan residence first. Because the mom should be dead. I'm not hoping she's dead, but by the dream I had, she should be gone. So we're going to the Sagan residence, it's Monday, no time specified. I guess time doesn't matter right now. Because we were just investigating. It's out of order and you're supposed to succeed. At, or you're supposed to collect the information you're supposed, to, you're supposed to collect. So she's alive. Okay. When I visited the Sagan household, I found Hitomi with a hollow look in her eyes. She, she let me in and asked me to sit on the sofa. I agreed and sat down. But after that, I couldn't say a single word. The heavy silence weighed on both of us. Steam is rising from the tea. That fucking flower. In the language of flowers, the iris means good news and hope. When I saw the flowers this morning, I just knew something good would happen. <sighs> fucking sadness. Iris. About Iris. Iris was my everything. We always went everywhere together. Oh. This poor mother. Whether it was buying clothes, or going to the movies, or taking a walk, or going shopping at the supermarket. When she was young, she would just hold one of my fingers. Her hand was too small to hold mine. Then it was two, then three. And finally she could hold my hand. But eventually, she left my hands altogether. She started crossing her arms, being independent, even though she needed constant attention growing up. <laughs> now she's just reminiscing. Oh, this is just heartbreaking. There's a door to the back of the room. None of this matters. It's just the same information I've seen. But talking to her is probably the main consistency here. I mean, Ota. I don't even know if she knows Ota. My students. Oh. Oh fuck. I taught him in elementary school. So you do oh. I heard it from the police. Oh no. Oda tried to help Iris and ended up. I don't know what to say. I have no words. Hitomi, my entire focus is on this case. Is there anything at all you can tell me? Why were you home late that one night? I don't know if this is important, but... No, please. Tell me. I may have told you this already. I met Renju's wife Shoko twice before. Sure, yeah. The first time at the wedding, the second time a month ago. That second time was in the waiting room of the prison. For who? Prison? Who the, why were you meeting him in a prison? There's an acquaintance of mine from when we were younger is it your ex uh i guess it's the person who gave you iris i visit them a few times a year yeah it's the man who gave you iris and by coincidence i saw shoko i don't think she noticed me but i recognized her as renju's wife right away she was there for the same reason i was to visit one of the inmates do you know who no i don't we didn't talk then maybe the person you're trying to visit was the one that phone called because he knew the other information. I mean, that's kind of important to us at this point. Which prison? Fuchu Prison in Tokyo. That's worth checking out. Fuchu. The guy who called prison. us saying there was going to be another murder. He knew. Her memories are a part of this room. When she was a baby, she fell off that sofa and cried and cried. I can't imagine this lady can live here anymore with all these One memories. Day she tore up her picture book all over the floor here. <laughs> Another time, oh. she threw crayons all over the window. 
You just have all these memories. I, I feel so much Mother's for you. Day. Scratches on the floor, chipped plates, burn marks on the table, stains on the cushions. Everything you see. It all holds a memory of her. But why? I don't think we're going to get much out of her. There's nothing left to say. She's already in pain I'm sorry enough. Sorry to have bothered you. I'll be going now. Yeah, she's already in so much pain. I don't know what to do. Thinking about her. <laughs> Dante, please, you, you have to catch them. Oh my God, don't please. make me feel this way. Oh no. Oh, I'm going to try my best, Itomi. I, I don't know if I'll be the best detective, but I'll try my best for this. Oh, fucking hell. I don't know how to feel about all this. This is a lot to like just absorb and take in. I kind of want to go back to the warehouse, but it has no importance at this moment. I want to go. Marble isn't going to help us as much as like. I should. I should do that next. Oh, God. I don't even know how this mother's going to handle this. So we're at the diner. The place was silent. It was so quiet, I felt like I could hear the floating dust. I stepped inside and I thought it was empty, but I saw a shadow in the corner of my eye. It was my Yumi. It was like watching a decaying old tree cling pathetically to the earth. Where's your husband in all this? I'm sorry to interrupt. She's not going to even talk about Oda. Is your fault. It probably is. I heard from the police. Because you didn't take care of Iris, my boy Ota got involved. He... He electrocuted me and made me unable to do my job. But, like, I get your, your anger. It. I looked into the investigation report. Mayumi confirmed Ota's body early this morning. I see. I'm sorry. I want to be alone right now. Did you not hear me? I said leave! <laughs> Date, let's go. Yeah. She's in no state to talk. There's nothing we're yeah, gonna get out of this one. Right. Fuck. Like, I kinda wanna... Yakuza A, B, number 89. This is the uh, the prison dude. So he's from the Fucha prison. That's why I wanted to double check. So he's in the prison. So we have to keep an eye out for him. We didn't find number 10? What? We've not met number 10 yet, but we've met almost all the other cast. Interesting. So we haven't met someone specific yet. To keep that in mind, I guess. Appendix... Evolver, Dork, Emo, Emoing, um, Album, <laughs> Iris A, Iris A, okay, Date A, Date B, Mizuki A, and then that doesn't matter. We haven't even collected the rest of these files. Like, that just goes to show, like, how little we've done in comparison to the grand scheme of this. I just wanted to collect my thoughts. Um, 
I'm trying to process like how I want to proceed with this court case because like if you look at us now we're now at this point so this is from the psyching in the rain so this is a very weirdly branching path so if we did the other option we'd be somewhere else um, I don't know where this path ends I have no idea but at least now we know for sure it's one branch, two branch, I'm assuming it's going to go three branch, four branch, five branch, six branch, maybe more. Considering how big this board is, it seems like it's going to be quite the journey. Um, but, like, we could go back here, but I don't see a, a reason inherently right now. I think we should see this one to its end and then work our way around elsewhere. Um, all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that that happened. I'm just trying to do the the sl the less the stuff I doubt there's any important information in first and everything second. It just seems unlikely that I would need anything from Marble. So maybe Marble will be short and maybe I can get more information Are somewhere you okay, else. Honey? Do do I look like I'm okay, mama? Huh? About last night. Well, at 3 in the morning anyway. You know about it? It's on every channel. You have the face of a ghost. Do you want a glass? I don't think I need a glass right now, Mama. I don't need a drink. I need information. Do you have anything? Well, let's see. I do have... I suppose you could call it intuition. And what's that telling you? Tell me. Yeah. The Kumakuras are involved in this case. I mean, I agree. I do think they're heavily involved. But I'm, I'm assuming... I told you before? That there's a relationship between Ren and the Kumakuras? Yeah. Shoko also has a relationship with them. You know about her dealings with the Kumakuras, right? So basically, two of the victims are linked to the Kumakuras. So you're assuming that they're all linked. That must mean they're involved somehow, right? Not two. Three. Three? How is... Iris? No, not that one. The boy. How the hell is Ota involved? He came here last night. Ota? Yes, from Matsushita Diner. Is her he's linked to dad? The is his well. dad a Kumakura boy? It explains why he's never there. Have you heard the rumor? Mama told me a similar story to Aiba's about Sosejima and the Kabasaki district. The basic idea is this. Eight years ago, So sold his land in the Kabasaki district for 30 billion yen. Half a year later, an explosion at the chemical plant caused the land prices to drop drastically. So bought back the land for 1 billion yen. Almost like he knew beforehand that the accident would happen. So, so did So blow it up or conspire to blow it up? Not that wouldn't make sense. No, that wouldn't make sense. So wouldn't gain anything from that. He would end up with 29 billion in cash and 1 billion in land. It's a net zero. But there's more to the story. The Kumakuras own a handful of real estate companies. Yeah. They, of course, look legit, but they're Yakuza fronts. I'll call those real estate companies the KE to keep it simple for you. Okay. The KE followed in So's footsteps. They bought up land in Kabasaki. I think I kind of guessed this before, too. Now, back to so. Have you heard of the plans for the casino in Kabasaki? Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, because if they can clear enough of the Kabasaki district, they can just build a casino on the cheap land and have a very profitable business. So was the one who came up with it. I was born and raised in Kabasaki. I remember the landscape of my childhood, and I loved it dearly. But look at Kabasaki now. When I see images of the destruction on television, my heart aches like it's being chopped to pieces. But I promise you, I will revive the Kabasaki district at any cost. But what does that mean? Like, how does this connect Oda to them? Casino Town Kabasaki will give new life to the city. Ah, uh, I see. So he's trying to push his Casino Town. After that, so moved fast. He submitted the bills he needed to the National Assembly after drumming up support in the right places. 
The bills passed and it became an official government initiative. Wow, he got the government behind it? Decontamination efforts therefore increased at a rapid pace in the Kawasaki district. At the moment, the area is still considered off limits. But it'll be done probably in five years' time. However, the air in Kawasaki is currently purified to such an extent that it has no negative effect on the human body. If the plan goes smoothly, land prices in Kabasaki are going to skyrocket. And guess who has all the property? So, who has the massive property probably necessary to build this casino town? And the Kamakura gang, who already have their KEs nestled in with So. So that's why So meets with them so frequently, to make sure their plans stay smoothly and don't have any hiccups. And all that land is owned by the KE. And by So himself. The land he bought back for one billion will be worth ten times that soon. He's involved in some shady business. If anything, it sounds more or less like So just bought the land as a placeholder and is going to get kickbacks from the Yakuza's control of the casino district once it's done. And that's Yakuza for you, but that's in it's interesting to think that that's how it's going down. I'm just trying to understand how this relates to Ota. This is just another rumor, but... The chemical plant exploding was no accident. It was done intentionally. By So and the Kumakuras, you mean? But there's no hard evidence of that. It's just gossip. I see. Uh, what were we talking about again? You're just explaining to me more about the, the Yakuza's plan to take over Kamakura. Ota and the Kumakuras. Not Kumakura, the Kawasaki district. Oh, Kawasaki. right. You know how Matsushita Diner is close to the Kabasaki district? Yeah. It was definitely profiting a long time ago. The chemical explosion made times hard. Foot traffic went down, sales declined. No wonder it closed down. It closed down? Ota must hold a grudge. Someone caused that explosion. And if it was intentional, oh, he'd hate them even more. That's how I link Ota to the Kumakuras. That's not really a good link. Thank you, Mama. I don't know if what you told me will lead to anything, but... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to waste your time. I mean, you didn't really. You actually helped uh, explain the rest of the image. Especially from like the Yakuza standpoint, like why it was so beneficial and why So was there. So you actually cleared up a big thing about that. But as far as Oda's connection, there's that's just not that strong. No, no, it was very helpful. I'm glad I can help, even if it's just a little. Yeah, I feel like that was actually really good background information. Well then, be seeing you. Come back anytime. So I didn't expect to get that answer from here. All right. I want to go to my residence. We'll go to the warehouse last. I don't see any reason in uh, going to the warehouse now. I need to check in with Mizuki, I think. I need to check in with her. I can't imagine she's doing splendid, and I'm quite concerned about her in general. Yeah. Mizuki is curled up on the sofa. She looked like a small animal frightened by a predator. Well, at least you know what my apartment looks like now. Look at her bag, her little pipe she uses, our matching outfits. Uh, our... I assume I have a bedroom back there? The entrance. No, that's the entrance. Is there only like one bed in here? And we just share the bed? I guess I assume I get the bed or she gets the bed and I get the couch. Um... Yeah, she's not going to talk about anything. Mizuki must know about Iris and Ota. Of course. The news was distributed heavily across the internet. Not just in Japan, but worldwide. Three days ago, Mizuki discovered her mother's body. Yeah, it's like imagine discovering your mom's body, then your dad's body, then your best friend's body. It's like... <sighs> two days ago, her father's. This girl has gone through so much. This morning, two of her best friends. It is completely understandable that she is at her mental limit. Yeah, I don't know how she can even, like, there's no way she could be able to be okay. Just being okay. Can I be left alone for a while? 
Yeah, Mizuki, yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. She certainly didn't seem so, but I can't stay by her side forever. Iba, contact Abyss. See if they can get Mizuki a good counselor. Understood. I stayed with her for a little while longer, but we didn't speak. Having nothing more to say, I left. Well, now we're finally at the crime scene again. What else can we fucking gather? What else? Other than Mizuki potentially being murdered. Oh my god. Okay, well, we're back in the cold storage warehouse. The air conditioning wasn't running. Uh, the air conditioning wasn't running, but it was still cold. The temperature hadn't raised much at all. The cold air sunk into my skin, but the center of my body was burning hot. Any clues, Inspector? Uh, no, nothing so far. Thanks. What about you? Any progress? I checked this place point by point, but didn't find nothing. <sighs> Alright, well... Start that oil drum. Unlikely to be a clue. That's the exit. Shelves with boxes seem to be very irrelevant. This overhead crane, a hook hanging from the ceiling crane. Okay. A cardboard box. There's a cardboard box on the floor. There's nothing. Uh, there's nothing in it. Bloodstained B. Is this Oda's blood? That was probably where he was stabbed after he fought over here. Um, forklift A, forklift B, a forklift. I don't see anything special about it. Um, the equipment. A video and laptop. Wow, simple setup. This is what the criminal used to stream. All of these items have been bought from pawn shops and thrift stores. It would be difficult to determine a suspect from them. I mean, that's smart. I have logged into the Wi-Fi in this warehouse. Okiura Fishery Co. LTD is listed as the owner. However, I found the password written directly on the router. Anyone who saw it could have used it. That's just so stupid. So anyone could have, have done, done stuff. Some research. Okay. As the name suggests, the company is owned by the Okiuras. The same Okiuras we know. Rinju's father created the company. Wait, what? So... Everything here is tied to the Okiuras, then. Did the Okiuras do something sketchy with Iris's fam? I'm trying to understand this more. Another connection to Renju. Yeah. No, actually. Currently, Okiura Fishery has nothing to do with Renju. The company has been managed by office representatives for the past 17 years after Renju's father died. Renju holds no shares and is not involved in the management. Oh. In short, Renju did not inherit the company from his father, and it was instead given to other persons. Oh, that's weird. But it can't be a coincidence. I mean, it's probably not, it but... It certainly is suspicious. It's odd, but he has no tie to this place specifically, so... At least we've really figured out some of that information. Iris and Oda's blood. Workbench. Right Iris and Oda were... I am sure you are already aware of Ota's time of death. Just before I arrived. About 3.30 in the morning. And the cause of death. Right. About that. Ota had a stab wound from a kitchen knife in his side. Yeah. Correct. What was the exact cause of death? Was it the knife wound or... I assume getting cut in half probably did it. I cannot determine that. I can conclude that the knife wound was at least close to being fatal. Even if Ota was still alive on the workbench. He was certainly on the verge of death. So he might not have been murdered by the buzzsaw, but it definitely pushed him over. If he weren't already extremely weak, we would expect to see more signs of struggle. Maybe Oda was trying to help Iris, jumping at the criminal. It led to a scuffle and Oda ended up with a knife wound to his side. Or in his side. Why didn't he use his taser? I guess the guy had a suit on so he couldn't use his taser. He lost all his power to fight back. He was forcibly put inside the costume, then finally cut open by the ice cutting machine. But why? Why did the culprit put the costume on Ota? Yeah, that doesn't seem. It seems weird. Maybe to cover his blood so he couldn't get any of the DNA out of it. I mean, like thinking about it, like if he wasn't gonna keep the suit, uh, put Ota in it, covers up all his DNA inside the suit. If he was dumb, and all the blood everywhere would cover up anything. Unknown. 
But it is odd that it was like that. So they're under odd tops, so their bodies aren't here anymore. Well, let's check out the ice cutting machine then. Iris and Ota were sliced in two by this ice cutting machine. Iris and Ota. Iris's estimated time of death and cause of death have been confirmed. The video was not a recording. It was a live stream filmed in real time. Which means Iris's time of death is 3.20 a.m. I was that close? I was 10 minutes away? Oh my god, that's fucking depressing. Iris also had her left eye removed. Yeah. Yeah. And like Renju and Shoko, Iris's left eyeball has not been recovered. Date, we should get moving. Officers from the local jurisdiction are checking the warehouse thoroughly. We will not find anything of importance here. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, let's just go. You can ask CSI to inform you if they find anything. All right. I guess CSI. Let me know if you find anything. I let them know, then left the warehouse. What other information can we even digest from this? When I left the warehouse, I saw Pewter. What is he doing here? He walked up to me while I was trying to work it out. Date, I have to talk to you about something. Uh, what? Huh? About the original Cyclops serial killings. Yeah, what about them? Why this all of a sudden? Because I want you to solve this case, Mr. Date. I assume you realize holding back information has now hurt the case gravely. I want you to find who did this and bring them to justice. I could try, Pewter, but it doesn't necessarily mean anything. So, if I can help you, even a little, why didn't you say anything in Abyss? Because Boss would have punched him in the face. The Boss was there. Yeah, I figured the Boss is the reason why I don't know anything. I couldn't speak openly in front of her. So, I decided to meet you here. All right, let's hear it. Earlier, I told you that I was completely certain the original Cyclops killer couldn't have committed these crimes. I am absolutely certain the original Cyclops killer could not have committed these crimes. Sure. Let me explain why. I'll start by telling you the identity of the Cyclops killer. <laughs> I'm like waiting for this like exciting reveal where I just feel justified in my Although, thoughts. It's more accurate to say killers. Oh. More than one? Oh. You say that I had like multi personality disorder and like each one killed a different way. So that's why it was so hard to pin it down. In the first series of killings, the culprit had an accomplice. Wait, what? One of them was born a murderous psychopath. The other is Rohan Kumakura, the previous chairman of the Kumakuras. Wait, what? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Is that why I knew Rohan? They each had a role to play. The murderer committed the homicide, and Rohan removed the eyeball. But why? Wait a minute. Rohan removed the eyeball. Wait a minute. Rohan removed the eyeball. The other person was the natural born sociopath. None of that matters. Who is the murderous psychopath? He was born with a brain dysfunction. Due to damage to the posterior pituitary gland, he was unable to properly secrete oxytocin. Oxytocin is a peptide hormone linked to feelings of love, affection, and trust. It is colloquially referred to as the love hormone. I it see. It causes a tranquilizing effect which improves mood and relieves stress. Okay. It is normally secreted when the body makes contact with an object of affection, such as an embrace or caress. I'm sure you know what this implies, but... He was unable to feel love in the way that we do. However, he was able to experience a substitute, 
His brain was wired in such a way that allowed him to feel satisfaction through other means. Due to the unique idiosyncrasies of his brain, he was able to release large amounts of dopamine and endorphins oh. by performing a certain action. Murder. Obviously murder. What was it? Murder. Dopamine is a hormone linked to the reward system of the brain. So the more he killed, the more rewarded he felt. Yada, 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 psychopathic tendencies. The pleasant feeling attained through accomplishment is dopamine. Endorphins are a kind of brain narcotic. They dull pain and create a feeling of happiness. He got pleasure from killing people? It's slightly more complicated than that. Yeah, like scientifically, it was just that his mind was wired in a way that he would feel less pain and then he'd feel a reward system once he had achieve that end killing people was the only way he could get pleasure yeah he was 12 when he took his first life that enlightened him to the pleasure of murder which he would do again and again okay and about rohan why was rohan taking eyes years ago rohan took a woman's eye she was already dead he put his finger into her eye socket and gouged it out the reason why was simple. He was fascinated by women's eyes. Their beauty stimulated his greed and his desire to possess them. He needed to have them. To make them his own. That's fucking weird. Driven by this instinctive impulse, he took the woman's eye. From then on, he acquired a grotesque obsession with the eyes of dead women. He was very particular about his need that the eye belonged to a deceased woman. But even being the head of a Yakuza gang, there weren't too many opportunities for him to indulge. His deepest, darkest desire went unfulfilled for years. However, he soon met his ideal partner. So that explains why there were two people at every of the original killings. The aforementioned psychopath. The Cyclops killer would commit the murder and Rohan would take the eye. Thus, a mutually beneficial relationship was established. This was the origin of the Cyclops serial killings. At about the same time, you were assigned to Abyss. Okay. That, I don't know. The details of the original Cyclops serial killings case have become nebulous over time. Even the official investigation material contains nothing of value. I am unable to draw any conclusions from them. You really have no idea? If I did, I would tell you. Well, thanks, I guess. But summarize for me? I'm just kind of, like, lost. The original Cyclops killer had an accomplice. There were two Cyclops killers. Well, it'd be safer to say that both of them together were the killers, and not necessarily them separated. And one of them was the former chairman of the Kumakuras, Rohan Kumakura. Rohan committed suicide by jumping to his death one year ago. But why? That means... I assume it was murdered, but you know. Pewter, tell me this. One of the original killers is dead, I know that. But that means one remains. Who is he? After his fourth murder, he was arrested by the police. They actually picked him up on other charges. But, in any case... He is currently serving a life sentence in Fuchu Prison. Fuchu Prison? Okay. That's odd. Yes. What's his name? In prison, he doesn't have a name. Is he number 89? He is simply called number 89. The one who called the police. Number 89. I know who killed Shogun Adami. So, now you know why I said that that the original Cyclops killer couldn't have committed these crimes. Because one is dead, and the other is behind bars. So then, it rules me out of being the murderer? Neither of them had the opportunity. Okay. So, if anything, the most important thing is to go to Abyss headquarters and confront the boss, is what I'm assuming is what we're gonna do. But, um, on that note... I'm gonna call this episode here, guys. Um, it was really fun. I liked how much we discovered a lot of things, learned a little bit more, and now we know for sure that Fuchu Prison is definitely in our future. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in whatever I make next. Bye.